Right, oh, welcome back to another episode. So thanks for tuning in. This one, we're gonna be looking at a bit of a storage solution for all these cable ties, tape, and all that sort of stuff that I've just got floating around. Not too happy with what I've got at the minute. I'm gonna sort that out. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And if you haven't already, it'd be pretty sweet if you hit that subscribe button, appreciate it. And maybe a like on the video, don't know, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, maybe hit, a, hit us up with a comment. But anyway, let's just get stuck into it. Right oh. <clears throat> Righto, so what have I got here? I've just got all my cable ties, my most used cable ties that I use. Um, I've got a few things of tape here. So I figured I might better do something with some PVC pipe. So I just got a bit of 50 mil pipe there, a bit of conduit from leftover from when I done the shed and some M caps and stuff. So I'm thinking of doing some sort of like tube system where I can just put all the cable ties separately in like the individual sort of tube and um, yeah, go from there. So let's uh, see what I can come up with. Righto, so first things first, I'm gonna cut the 50 mil pipe to size. So I'm gonna allow probably about 50 mil overhang to stick out of the top of all these. So the idea is these will sit in there, stick out over the top. So to cut all these, I'd probably just use the uh, drop saw. So I'll get that out, start chopping this up. Righto, so there's all my pieces cut. So the idea for the 50 mil pipe is, I've got these end caps, they'll go on there, so that'll allow me to screw it down to something. So I'm gonna make like a base plate or something for all these, and then I'll screw all these down, and then I'll be able to just pop this straight on top like that. So they'll all go on like that, so I'll have one for each. All like that. These ones, I'm gonna to have to think of something else, but I've got a better idea for these, I reckon. So the idea is all these cable ties will just bump in like that, and they'll sit up about 50 mil. So got all those sorted out there. So that's that bit done. Next, I wanna do something to just hold all the tape just out so it's easily accessible. So I've just got the uh, conduit from, you know, just electrical cable and stuff like that. So the idea is this will just go in like that. I'll sit that down and then I can just, you know, take out a roll anytime I need one. So with this, I was just having a bit of a think. I'm going to actually use hole saw. I'm going to drill out a bit of timber and this internal part of the hole that you actually cut out just happens to work out exactly the internal diameter of the flange section of the conduit. So I'll uh, drill out a couple of bits of timber for that and I'll be able to screw that down and then this will slide on top of that. So hopefully that works out. But the next thing I'm gonna do is just make this base plate up and I'm gonna use just a bit of leftover form ply that I've had from any of these other things that I've built here. So. I'll knock up just a bit of an L shape type thing so I can screw all these little pieces down. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So those pieces are cut. So what I'll do now is I'll just hit all those harsh edges with the round over bit, the little trimmer here, and uh, we'll make it all nice and we'll bang it all together. So uh, let's do it. Right, all right, that's done. So now I'm just going to drill a hole in the bottom of all these end caps, screw it down where I want them. So I'm probably just gonna set it out roughly distance of this little uh, set square. 
on either side, front and back, side and back I should say, and then that'll be the same gap in between them all. So I'll just drill a hole in this, screw them down, make sure it's all set up the way I want it, and then uh, I can uh, probably look at those small conduit pieces here, I'm gonna fix those down, so let's do this. Righto, let's see if this idea works with the small conju. So, like I said before, I'm pretty much just gonna drill this out, try to pop that little round bit that's stuck in there, and screw that down. So, let's have a crack. Sharp drill bits. Whew. Alrighty, so they work out pretty good. So this is all set up. I'm gonna pop all these off, get a quick lick of paint, and uh, then we'll bolt her on the wall. So, unscrew these, and just gonna hit it with a bit of black paint on all the plastic stuff, and I'll just leave all the uh, edges of the ply exposed. So, let's do it. Righto, so while that paint's drying, I figured I'd just mount the board onto the wall. So, just pre-drilled a couple of holes. I know roughly where I want it to sit. So to help me just sort of hold it up, I'll put one screw underneath, just to sort of, into the wall, just to sort of hold it up in that spot. And then all I have to do is just level the other side off. So I'll put that screw in a bit. That'll just sit there. That will allow me to hold one side up while I level out the other. Done. Right, oh, ho job done. So, pretty happy how that turned out. Nice easy one, this one, like, didn't cost too much. I think it was about 30 bucks. So, something pretty easy you can just knock off in a day, really. So, nice little way of just displaying all your cable ties, easily accessible. Had a little spare spot, so chuck some pencils in there or something. And, you know, you always need your electrical tape when you're playing around with cable ties and that sort of stuff anyway. So, yeah, hope you got something out of that one. That brings us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. But until the next one, keep having a crack. See you there, cheers. Mm -hmm.